Yeah. I will start the prayer. Can we start the prayer? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Glory be to Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. As was well the beginning is now, what shall be without well an end? Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Mike. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We glorify your name because you make it possible for us to be gathered together for this special meeting. Almighty Jehovah, we need you in our midst. Father, send the Spirit yes. and abide with us in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying against any evil spirit. We are praying against any power that is not from God. Lord Almighty Jehovah, Amen. send them away in the mighty name of Jesus. Let Amen. your spirit come and dwell with us and abide with us. Amen. And the end of this to the meeting, let us glorify your name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' wonderful mighty name. Amen. 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 So, the chairman has gone out again. Pastor. Pastor Oko, good morning. Morning, sir. How are you, sir? My body is still in is that a... Apostle? <laughs> How are you? Yeah, yes. Yeah, we did, we did, we did. How is the family? Baba Gunshala. How are you? How is your family? How is everybody over there? We give glory to God. Yeah, thank you very much. Baba Gunshala, I salute you, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How are you, sir? I'm fine, sir. How was your I family? Meet you, my bishop Ogaba. How is everything yeah. going, sir? Mm. Well, yes, we salute. thank God, oh, we glorify God. Mm. Yeah, I threw my own salute mm. also. How is that, Terry? Apostle. How is that, Terry? I've been treating you. Are they answer? No, do they answer me? Oh. You did uh, now, I say, I you know, know. <laughs> said, I said, yeah, I said, tell Papa, you, Papa, tell you, they answer me. Now, me, oh, I did here. How's your family? Oh, and the it's church nice of God. To, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you, sir. Nice to see you. The Lord will see God. us through Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Oh, God bless every one of us. Amen. amen. Dr. Frank. Amen. 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 Can can you ask Ogusola or Terry to share the word? Just a few minutes. Okay. Praise the Lord. Okay, yeah. Ogusola. No, you can continue. Don't worry. Continue, Barista Terry. Barista Terry. Uh, for how long, sir? They say for how long? For how long? How many minutes? Sir? Maybe five. Sorry? Maybe five minutes. Okay. So that yes, the chairman sir. can incorporate and come in. I'm waiting for the chairman. As the chairman, okay, can I go on? Yes, sir. I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I want Hallelujah. to talk about uh, seven ingredients of uh, territorial, spiritual territorial expansion. My God, that is a powerful one. Seven ingredients of spiritual territorial expansion. Go uh, for Number one. Conversion. Conversion. That nobody can jump over it. 
You know what Jesus says about conversion. Uh, in John chapter 3, verse 3, he a man, every man must be born again. Yeah. That is the first step, first ingredient for spiritual expansion. For you to expand and control your spiritual environment, this crucial ingredient cannot be washed away. Then secondly, holiness, consecration, and sanctification. I call it number two. Holiness, consecration, and sanctification. We know all this. The Bible says without holiness, no man can see the Lord. No man can see the Lord. Uh, because of our time, I'll just run to the third one. Uh, of course, you know holiness, you get consecrated, and then the Lord is sanctified. You see, it's our Father's, it is the will of God that we be sanctified. And then to talk about spiritual expansion, Jesus already said that it is the will of our Father to give us the kingdom. So that means to expand the kingdom. Spiritual expansion is not only about uh, a, a church, it's about your individual person. It's about winning souls. It's about taking charge of your environment, even spiritually. So I go to the third one. The third one is zeal. Zeal. The Bible says we should be zealous and the uh, we should not be slothful in business, but we should be we should be fervent in the spirit, serving the Lord. And that is zeal. We should we need to increase our zeal on a daily basis. We should watch and guide ourselves on increasing our zeal. Let me go to the fifth one. The fifth one is money. Money. There is no way. Even as can or cans, uh, can South Africa, we cannot we cannot get there without money. Money is necessary; it's a necessity. In uh, when we did economy, say we say it's a desideratum; it's a must. See, money answered all things. Ecclesiastes chapter ten verse nineteen, and Ecclesiastes seven twelve. Say money is a defense. You cannot defend yourself. You cannot defend yourself if you don't have money. He who pays the piper dictates the tone. So we need to work. If we really want to expand, we should also look at the source of our finance. Hallelujah. The, this one is prayer. Prayer. Matthew chapter 9, verse 30, 38. Prayer is... is, is is necessary, 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 necessary prayer. Can I say the fifth one or sixth? So prayer, you know, when Jesus was talking about that the harvest is, is, is ripe and the laborers are few, they asked, what do we do to get the harvest, you know? Normally, people will say, humanly speaking, you know, throw them into the, throw them into the, into the, into the streets, so that they will go and whistle. But what Jesus says is that pray that the Lord of the harvest we we intervene. So prayer is a necessity in all time. If that man not to fail. Is it the sixth one now? The sixth one, I call it the seven spirit of the Lord. Seven spirits, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. He said, The spirit of the Lord shall come, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of the fear of the Lord, and the spirit of might. These are the seven spirits of the Lord. So, even when people say they are manifesting Holy Spirit, you just need to look at this. Do they have? The Lord, can they occupy for Jesus? Can they, do they have the wisdom, the spirit of wisdom? Do they have spirit of counsel? David counseled himself as the Lord, mm. as David encouraged himself in the Lord, and he withdrew. There are some times to withdraw, there are some times to embrace, there are some times to fight, there are some times to keep quiet. Hallelujah. So that is 
the fifth one. And the last but not the least is Holy Spirit. We as ministers of God and leaders, we know what the Holy Spirit is. Without Holy Spirit, we cannot say we have the image of God. We yeah. don't have the image of God if without the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will bring counsel. The Holy Spirit will give you endowment. We give you direction. The Holy Spirit will give you anointing. The Holy Spirit, you know, in fact, it's so important that Jesus Christ told them that, look, after I've gone, don't rush out. Don't rush out. Just stay put in Jerusalem. Stay put so that you will receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So the Holy Spirit is a desiderato. It's a desiderato. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 is, is, is an important ingredient. It's an element for territorial expansion. We just need it. And I pray that in our meetings, we also have time to ask the Holy Spirit, like our, our, our leader has, uh, has already prayed, we should ask the Spirit of God to do us. The Holy Spirit is not only for doing miracles. The Holy Spirit controls. That's what the, for the, the issue of Holy Spirit is that Holy Spirit don't force him himself on somebody. Yep. The Holy Spirit to walk on people. <laughs> who invites him? Who allows him? Like the Holy Spirit is not like devil. It's not like demonic spirit. Demonic yeah. spirit comes without your knowing, without your intention, without your knowledge, without your interest. But the Holy Spirit comes when you invite him. So we just need to invite the Holy Spirit always Amen. to make us to expand our territories as ministers in our various ministries, as ministers even in cancer, as ministers in our various fellowships, the Holy Spirit, once it takes over, you know, Jesus himself is living inside our person. So that's the word of God as the Lord has just led me. Bless you, sir. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for blessing us, sir. Wow, we need to do this often. God bless you. Thank you. Mr. Chairman and Secretary, please. That was Thank awesome. You. Thank you, Terry, for blessing us. For blessing us with this word. I think we have to go tonight to welcome. I welcome everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, there is one of the prayers we, need, we pray in our, our church every day. The prayer says, that by our life and teaching, the glory of God will be revealed and all nations drawn to God. Our life and teaching matters a lot. If we teach another thing and do another thing, the glory of God will never be revealed in anywhere, in anywhere at all. So I welcome every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to read this place. I'm not, inter I don't want to interpret it. I just want to read this place. Uh, First Timothy chapter one from verse three. As I urge you when I was going to Macedonia, remain, uh, in, remain at Ephesus, that you may charge certain persons not to teach any different doctrine, not to occupy themselves with minds and endless genealogies which promote speculation rather than the divine training that is in faith. Whereas the aim of our child is love that issues from a pure heart and a good conscience and sincere faith. Certain persons by swearing from this have wandered away into vain discussions, desiring to be teachers of the law without understanding either what they are saying or the things about which they make as assertion. I don't want to interpret it. I think uh, we understand it very well. The purpose of this meeting is what the letter that came from Abuja. If you know for a time now, I've never called any meeting and I have my good reasons for that about meetings we called never ended well. Chaos, crisis, fighting, and everything. I decided to pedal so that everybody will go home and pray and think, how will we move forward? In waiting for this, 
I am waiting unto God. The next thing I saw that people posted a, a, a meeting without my consent and without the consent of the secretary. And when they were asked, they say that they don't recognize the chairmanship, my chairmanship and the secretaryship of our secretary. I don't know what to do. This issue, if we do like that, we will never achieve anything. If all of us, we are, if all of us, we are, the day this meeting was inaugurated, but Orista Joffo emphasized on five blocks and hammered on it. He emphasized on it. So I don't know what to do than to write Abuja. Let them come and inter intervene in the conflict. And when they intervened, they brought this letter. Please, brothers, the Lord, with that sentiment, with that emotion, if there is anything we have wronged before, we want to write them. And writing them will be based on this letter from the uh, Secretary General of Khan, Abuja. There's one thing he said, if it is six blocks, it is not Khan any longer. And they would wash their hands away from it. They will never be part of it because it's not Khan. It's not only in South Africa that we have Khan. We have Khan Canada. We have Khan UK, yes, we have Khan USA, we have Khan everywhere. None of them are existing on a six blocks or more than or more than five blocks. They are all five blocks. If somebody will come and say that he don't recognize the chairman or the secretary and come up a meeting, that means when you look at it, it's a, I don't know how to, it's re rebellious alive. And being men of God, I don't think we are supposed to do such a thing. So I want us to discuss on this letter on, on the way on the way forward. How do we move forward from here? I am not against any Christian organization in South Africa. What we are trying to say is that anybody that wants to belong to Khan must come through these five blocks and not any other block. And this is the what we are mandated by Khan Nigeria. So the letter came, we posted it. I know that most of us oh, have read the letter. Shh. What do we say or what do we do concerning this letter? Anybody that have anything to say, what do we do about this letter that was written from Nigeria? Uh, it uh, is, it possible, is it possible the secretary read the letter out loud? Okay, I know we've read it individually, but let him read yes, the letter sir. again on, re on record. Sir. Yes, sir. Secretary, can you read the letter for us? Oh, I did print the letter. The letter is on the on the box. I don't know. I did print this. Oh, let me no, let me open my uh, let's continue. Let me open my my email. Let me open my email. Now, as uh, please, please, your volume. Are you using earphones? Please, it's like some of our leaders are in the home. I understand this is Saturday. Please, can you tell the children or to to leave you for now for just few minutes, sir? Your earphone, we are not hearing you well, Secretary. Hey, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Your mouth is... Uh, My you man, are looking well. Shut up. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, I, let me open my bell because I did that. But let's go, let me go and get up on my PC. Hello? And everybody. Ah, Bishop Ogaba. Yeah. 
I said, can everybody hear me? I can yes, hear sir. you. Yeah. Oh, let me get my email. I did read the store. Let me get my email. About is in the we can read it from the group here. Yeah? The one posted in the group. Okay. Okay. Sir. You, you want to read it, sir? Okay, I can help read because okay, it's just there in the group is everywhere. Okay, you can, can I read for you? you? Yeah. Okay. Um I'm reading. Okay, Christian Association of Nigeria. Um, the motto there is that all may be one. John 17, 21. This is a, a letter dated on 20th of October, 2021. And uh, they've got their um, email there. Can G E N sec at yahoo.com. And uh, this letter was actually addressed to Act, Act Deacon Venner Nelson Madu, Madu Gibea, the national chairman, Christian Association of Nigeria, South Africa. Um, it started with this. Dear sir, we request to intervene into the conflict of Khan South Africa. Sequel to your letter dated 7th October 2021 on the above subject matter. I write to draw your attention to Article 8.1 of Khan constitution which clearly stated that the membership of the christian association of nigeria shall be number one catholic secretariat of nigeria csn number two christian council of nigeria ccn number three the Christian Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, CPFN, slash Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, PFN. Number four, Organization of African Institutes, Instituted Churches, OAIC. Number five, Deccan Equa Fellowship. It therefore means that any block formed aside the five blocks of Khan by any group who represents Khan does not in any way conform to the constitution of Khan and does not represent the association. Kindly adhere to the Khan constitution as we anticipate your maximum cooperation remain blessed barrister daramola joseph Bade, khan general secretary written on the 20th of october 2021 that's when he signed it thanks thank you so much sir thank you sir so please can we have a few minutes to discuss on this if anybody wants anything to say, can I tell? Can I even tell the barrister Oko to interpret this thing for us? He is our director of Lega. Before anybody will say anything, let barrister Oko say something for before any other person. Sorry, uh, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Chairman. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to interject here. First of all, I know that based on the instructions and the constitutionality of Khan, as we understand, I take it that we gave a special amnesty to Barisoko being in the meeting. That's number one. Number two, when you are talking about legal, you know, our legal officer, you now know that with the letter that we have 
all those things that was constituted has been nullified. Except that we recognize you as the chairman. I'm not trying to antagonize Barisoko, but I'm trying to, you know, to say it. I know it's hard many a times when I say the truth, but still what I say, one year, two years, we still resonate again. It becomes a subject, whether it is you know, going to be accepted or not. So we all understand the interpretation. Unless you say Barisoko or uh, Pastoko, please, can you help us interpret it? Not on the basis of being the legal, you know, the, the legal officer here. Thank, Thank you for you. correcting me. Thank you for correcting me. But let uh, Baristoko interpret this letter for us before any other person will say anything. Okay. Unmute your phone. You are muted, on mute. Are you hearing me now? Yes, we can hear you. Well, I'm short of yeah. word by this year, yeah, we... your by uh, Bishop Ubu's uh, combative approach to this. I didn't know I've been excluded. <laughs> so if I've been excluded, maybe I should- No, so, so nobody excluded you. You are part of us. We, you are, we need you. No, that's- Listen, you. listen, you see, like, like I said, I'm sorry, Let's I'm sorry. Can I, finish? When you're speaking, I, I want I to be honest you. here. You, you were not excluded. You, I take it, like I said, I take it that we will have been given a special amnesty because you are in under, Mpasa. So I need you to understand. My bishop. You are a lawyer. You my, practice my bishop, for many years. Bishop Obu, so you bishop, understand bishop, this bishop, very well. Please. Um, we um, gave you this not... here. It's, it's, it's a privilege. A special privilege. That's not so. My bishop, that's not, that's not true. Um, tell me it is not true. Barista, please. Now listen. Don't, listen. Don't no, no, no. Tell me why it is not true. No, no, no. Now, Apostle, Apostle Eugene. I mm. was huge. You see, my problem wow. with our ministers, mm. I don't like when we know the truth, but because of certain person, certain privileged personality, and we are afraid. No, mm. that's why I'm different. I'm not afraid of any personality. I say yes, the truth because he is under Mpasa. And I'm saying here that it's a special privilege because others <laughs> who are under Mpasa are not here. Akitola is here because he's representing CPFN as head of block, even though he's under Mpasa. And that's why he's here. So for me, it's a special privilege granted to him. And I respect okay. him for that. Okay. All right. I understand. Let me, let me say something. Uh, if you say that whatever was constituted was a nullity, then even your existence for whatever you represent is also a nullity because the new council or can South Africa has not been formulated. The present meeting we are having, the present representations we are having is constituted by the whatever you call it as a wrongly constituted. Therefore, even the position is completely nullified. Let me be specific to you now. You are not no, supposed to a, be No, you are lying. You are, and let me finish. This let is me a finish. meeting of heads of blocks and their secretaries. Have been it's meeting. a meeting of heads of blocks. It's okay. Uh, are the ones who send the penalization uh, in one of the five blocks. Bishop Obu, yes. Bishop, so Bishop Obu, I want Bishop Obu, Bishop Obu, please. Bishop Obu, please. Bishop Obu, can please. I come please. in? Hmm. Bishop Obu, please, can I come in, please? Yeah, please come uh, in. I, I, Bishop Obu, I understand what you are saying. But please, I am the one that gave him the floor. 
allow him to say what he wants to say, please. Sir. And for your information, okay. Let me tell you. Let for your information. If you if you ever know much about uh, Khan, you go and look at the foundation, the founders of Khan, the Gospel Film Mission International, Pastor Abino and R. O. George were the foundation members, and I belong to the Gospel Film Mission. So if you want to trace history, it is I will say that you don't have a local standing. Because I don't please, even know you. Please, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, want this meeting to continue uh, uh, because uh, I believe uh, you uh, invited uh, him to this meeting. Please, Mr. You, Mr. Uh, uh, that please, invited him. I only ask you, please, I only ask you to speak on the uh, the letter, please, sir. Let's not go to the other place. Let's focus on what we came here for, please. Well, from the tone of the letter, from the tone of the letter, there's what is called exclusius units, exclusius otaros. When you exclude one thing, that means you have included others. When you include one thing, that means you have excluded others. Simple as that. That's my answer. That's the little Okay, thank you. Any other person have anything to say concerning the letter? I do. Um, and I'm just going to... Uh, Pogu, Shala, Pogu Shala left. Okay. I can't no, see him again. Yeah, his phone is on. Okay, he's back. He's, he's back. back. Okay. He's on. Okay, he's back. Okay, he's back. Uh, continue. From the tone of that letter, sir, we need to first of all understand who are we. Now, identity matters a lot when we want to actually begin to talk. And if we could, we could actually go back to the statement I made when we were speaking on reconciliation, I said that we have to go back to the drawing board and redress certain issues. And not until those issues are redressed and placed in their right perspective, that it looks like we are building on a porous soil. And it looks like exactly what I said then is what we are facing now. And so be it that Khan Nigeria wrote us. And the question here is, what is our identity, sir? Our identity is that we are affiliate body or a subsidiary or an extension of a known body a formidable body, a dignified body that have been in existence. We've seen their roles that they have played. We've seen the results they've achieved. We've seen the battles they've fought. And these people are not just speaking from just merely what we presented to them. No, they are speaking from the wealth of their experiences. And these are the people that we are loyal to. And they gave us an instruction, an order, that if we follow this recipe, we will amount to a reasonable and lasting solution. I'm just wondering, my um, elders, that if we neglect this instruction, are we now in subordination? Are we on our own? Are we not connected or are we not affiliated to them? This letter is so explicit, very simple, precise, direct to the point. They told us that if we neglect the fact that Khan is uh, an organization that has five blocks and go ahead to do otherwise, that we are not representing them. That is actually a summary of what they are saying, that we are not really can. And if we are not can, then who are we? We have lost our identity by actually altering the nomenclature of what can is supposed to be built upon. I don't know what else we have to say about this. Yes, this is my take. I subscribe to the fact that if we are still can, as we claim to be, then we must follow the instructions to the letter. It might be a little bit painful, but remember that when we are reconstructing, sometimes we alter some structures just to ensure that we go back to the original architectural design. That is what I think. On this premise, I submit to my elders here that what we ought to do is to, if we want to carry all stakeholders along, give them a time frame and say, please find your respective constituent blocks and join them from that platform. You can gain, because tomorrow, if they want to talk to us, we will say, but we have five blocks. From which block are you operating on? Remember, sir, I said something earlier on. 
And I, I told you people, the meeting, sorry to use that word, the meeting that gave birth to Khan, I said that we had a meeting and we had an agreement. Should I use you know, the word on Aburi we stand? We have a meeting. The night prior to the, even the morning that led to that evening uh, uh, inauguration, we had a meeting with Archbishop, late Archbishop, and we had an agreement. And the people that constituted that meeting, they are all alive. The man that spearheaded that meeting is still alive, Papa Ayo. And if we should respect the, the essence of him inaugurating this cancer, then we couldn't have gotten to this level. That, that is my take. And the meeting, in general, we agreed that Papa um, Archbishop should go and take his membership in his own block, which he refused. Now, he now wanted to sideline PFN and bring about a new block that we stand as if they are PFN. No, if it is not PFN, if it is not P uh, CPFN, then it is not the block. And if it is not that the, uh, these blocks are not in order, then we are not calm. I wonder what else we are. Can we all know the instructions from our leaders, from their words of experience, from, from what they have achieved? Can we honor it and build and mirror our buildings according to the pattern that has been laid before us? We are all believers. We are leaders. We are Christians. This is exactly what we preach to our members. Why are we now, it's like going ultra-virus. Sorry, I'm, I don't know what else to say, but I think I rest my case for now. Thank you, sir. Any other Mr. Question? Chairman, can I say something? Sir. Yes. Okay. Um, when we talk about the modus operandi, when we talk about the local standard, and I want it to be proved, I want it to be verified. Between 1995 and 1996, go home and verify it in Eastern Nigeria. And I have someone who is alive here. Oh no, we go. Yes. You ask him. He was among the youth leaders, like I was among the youth leaders. But because of my fair way of doing things, without fear of knowledge, without fear of favor, I was a member of the seven man panel that settled the case of the Celestial Church of Christ in Eastern Nigeria, when they never allowed any leader to come from Eastern Nigeria, if you're an Igbo, unless you are from uh, a Midwest or from the West. And it's because of my involvement in Khan in Nigeria. So I have a weight of knowledge of how Khan runs. When we were inaugurated, even in the meetings following the inauguration, the yes. meetings following the coming of these very people, the people who we have, Bishop Henry Sado and the pastor, uh, uh, um, Reverend uh, Bosun, they, they make sure that we have five laws constituted. And mm. I know that the instruction by Ayo gave mm. strictly to say, Mpasa, Go and join the PFN. He first of all told them dissolve and pass out. Yes, you were in and that meeting that night. PFN. But our bishop said, No, 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 we have gone a long way building our this. He said, Okay, for them to be part of uh, 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 Khan, let them negotiate and join with PFN. He took a lot of battle and the, I'm, I, I, I'm not uh, this thing. I wouldn't say, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm so this thing to say that I was involved in the battle. After the inauguration, we know how many times we discussed in the Khan executive meeting of how Mpasa can reconcile with PFN. And I know how many meetings they try to hold. Mm. At some point, I was drafted to go and be amongst the people who will mediate between them. I said, no. Why? Because I had problem with PFN. It's my having problem with PFN coming over to Mpasa to, 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 to build up Mpasa, to hold them, protect the late Archbishop, was what led to PFN being going out. But that is past now. Now that the error had been corrected by our leaders, 
if we say that we are children of the Lord, we all preach to obey is better than sacrifice and to hacking than the fat of rams. My problem had been, I have elders in the house who are my senior in age, lead ministry alone. I expect to say the truth and nothing but the truth. And we run. They because, not just because they are biased, but because they speak from the two sides secondly most of them i started this fight when my friend was still alive i started it to say this is the way it is but now the error had been corrected why are we missing words why are we wasting time i thought okay you read this the way forward because we should be looking at the way forward to carry others along, those who I also spoke in how many meetings that this is not can procedure. The churches that registered and paid the money, how do we carry them along? How do we make them belong to blocks, those who are not in blocks, to carry them along? The changes we are supposed to make Based on the law, we are talking about people who are legal practitioners. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman, I'm not speaking long. The changes we are supposed to make the, the register. I thought we are trying to see how do we go forward. Thank you. Please, it's part of our, one of the things I wrote in the agenda. It's part of one of the things I wrote in the agenda. Is there anyone that have anything to say? I want Papa Ogushala to say something. Ogushala. Ogushala. Yeah, he have to unmute himself. He have to unmute himself. Is he still oh, is he still a chairman? Huh? Yeah. yeah. I, what I said is that I, I, when it is time, I will talk. I'm just well, listening to what the people are saying now. Okay. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, is so briefly. I didn't get you. Yeah, Chama, can I talk? Mr. Secretary, what did you say? Come Mr. again. Secretary, what did you say? Come again. Okay, is everybody hearing me? I can hear you now. I'm usually the same way. I want my I'm not to go. Where are my generation? Yes, my I'm my young one. Hello? Yeah, can everybody hear me? Yes, I can yeah, hear you. Can hear you now? Yes, I can. Okay. I just want to say something briefly concerning the letter. You know, from the from the letter, uh, I believe, yeah, we say it's an instruction, but uh, it's much more than uh, just an instruction. This this is about the constitution yes even though it is an yes. instructor it is born out of a constitution hmm. a constitution <clears throat> that guides or the the rules that guide or the principles that guide this organization 
and it is just in one aspect just to address the issue of block. So in essence, what we will admonish or advise to do is if you have to offer, we should try to obey the constitution of can, not the issue of blocks now. But it's just because of this one is just one aspect that they have just brought out the issue of blocks. If we are to be, if we are to be on Saturday, who makes our body from them, they will adhere henceforth to obey everything about the constitution of. Because I believe that as an organization, it's, it's no personal thing. Because the, some of the people we've been happy with the personality. As if it is personal, we're bringing in our opinions. It's not, it's not about opinions or suggestions, it's substitution. But this letter is specifically adding the issue of the constitution. So, to me, this about the constitution is not giving us uh, an instruction to obey, it's giving us to obey the constitution. That, before Sorry. he addressed it, quoted from the constitution in, 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 in the social things and in the action. So he is he's drawing our attention to the constitution of Khan. If we must, if we are to be in South Africa, we must, it's, a, it's not negotiable, we must pay the constitution of Khan. Anything outside of this constitution, we are no longer Khan. And they have nothing to do with us. So it's a very mm. thing. And it is done out if it is it is unconstitutional to them. So it's not a personal, thing. it is mm. a constitution. Mm. So this letter is actually this letter is actually addressing the issue of constitution. That means that is what it's all about. So it's not personal. Even the general secretary in the month, he evoked his own personal opinion. It was a one out of constitution was saying. Okay, so I raise my can I can I summarize now? Is there anybody that want any, want to say something? Yes. I think uh, Pastor Terry, I'll give you a chance to talk. I want other people to never say anything to I want other people to something. No, the, the, the chance you gave to me is to, to give a legal Please, sir. Please, 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 sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. I want those who have never said anything to say something. Please, sir. Uh, allow him to say something. It might help us more. Uh, I think Hello. yes. I think if uh, Pastor oh, Terry okay. wants to say something, let's hear him. Let's hear okay. him. Okay. okay. Pastor Terry. Hello. Are you hearing me? Hello. I hope yes, I hope yes. you're hearing me. Can I hear you? Yes, sir. Yes, I'm a... Yes, sir. I'm a... Our able secretary raised up an issue. You know, and then I want to follow it up. You know, talks about operating the constitution. Uh, my simple question is, what constitution? Your, 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 this thing is echoing. Can you take out maybe there's another phone or device around you? Can you take it out? Sorry. Okay. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Is it better? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. My, I said the our able secretary raised up a very important issue. He said it's not a matter of instruction, and I like that because if a person gives an instruction based on his office, what if the person is no longer there to so have a problem? So the issue there is what position are we in? The position of Christian Association of Nigeria, Simplicita, 
or that of Christian Association of Nigeria, South Africa. Or that of Which one are we in favor? Which one are Please, Mr. Chairman, and permit me to answer this. Please, Mr. Yes, sir, Bishop Obu. Yes, sir. Okay. First of all, okay. let's look at it from the yes, legal sir. interpretation. Let's look at it from the legal interpretation. The Christian Association of Nigeria, South Africa was established. The Continue, Under the platform as an area, Abuja headquarters. I am saying the Christian Association of Nigeria, South Africa, was established as an international arm of Christian Association of Nigeria, Abuja headquarters. And before the establishment, I can authoritatively say I registered the Christian Association of Nigeria, South Africa. And we were instructed any, any rule that no, the, is inconsistent. The question is very simple. Are we operating that on South Africa? Based on the Nigerian, let's allow him to land. Maybe yeah, he can we are get more operating insight. based on the Nigerian constitution. That's what we are the arm. We are just an arm of this one. So we cannot operate outside the Nigerian constitution. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Akintola, can sir, can uh, oh. Dr. Akintola say something? Can yeah, Dr. Akintola say stop. something? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Thank you very much uh, uh, for the opportunity to speak. Um, as a matter of fact, there are two things I want to say here. Uh, the first one is that um, the letter reads uh, a reply, a reply to uh, the to an, a letter. It's a reply to a letter. Uh, except if there has been a meeting before now that I'm not uh, privy, privy, privy to, I would love to know the content of the letter upon which this was replied upon and, uh, so that uh, we will have a balanced perspective here and to know uh, where we are beginning. And two, uh, so I would love to please know, I would love to have uh, the letter or have read to us the letter upon which this was replied to. Uh, I mean, every one of us has the right to know that we, to know what was the content of the letter upon which this came up. Secondly, I like to also know that um, whatever we are doing here, this with this meeting, I I I'm still trying to find um, uh, the where, what we are what we are what actually this meeting. In other words, what uh, the constitution, the name, because we are talking about legality when we talk when we bring the issue of constitution to it. Now, when we bring the issue of constitution to it, uh, as though we are. As though this is a is a constituted authority or constituted meeting, uh, I want to say, uh, and I and I listen to the the, the discussions that had conversations that had gone earlier before I speak as to whether who should be here or should not be here and what should be here. Uh, we need to first of all have the foundation right because it's 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 going to be as though we are beginning, we are starting afresh or uh, dovetailing from what has been existing. And we need to know what foundation are we starting with? If this is a restart or a reset or a reinvention, we need to know what foundation are we starting with on what conditional legal uh, thing we are starting with. So if we are looking at, say, we're looking there, uh, so I, that's, I think I need that the answer to that to say, okay, what are what are the what is our identity here? Before we because we don't want to assume we don't want to assume that this is like a carryover or like a, 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 a re-establishment of a new thing. Uh, we uh, need Reverend, to. Uh, I'm not sure. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him let him finish. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, 
I, I want us to, I want us to, um, and let me say by the background upon which I'm standing. I'm not standing on the background of arguments or whatever. Uh, I just want us to have things done right. I just want to have things done right. And so that we'll be able to, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are making, we are, we, are, we are writing a letter here right now. In other words, we are going to be, I mean, peaceful for others. So upon which foundation are we building now? Two, are we bringing what was, uh, are we robust stamping everything as it as it's, I can't remember the date of inauguration of cancer, cancer right now. Uh, we're over stamping the, the uh, offices and the um, uh, uh, structure, the structure that was established there. Uh, because as it is right now, there is one of the structure, one of the, one of the organizations that is not here now. One of the organizations that is uh, uh, the Catholic, um, uh, the CNM, the C, whatever now, it's not here now. Now, so, I will think that we this meeting is called upon to kind of uh, to kind of let's let's brainstorm, let's look at things, let's let's uh, let's find let's find our space, let's find our space first, rather than a meeting that is legitimizing uh, a structure based on Kant's constitution. So that is that's very 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 uh, important for us to. Uh, uh, clarify. And finally, I also would like to uh, find out, to know that, how to say that first, by the fact that if we know what we brought about the form and the letter that brought about this reply, it is important for us to know that if we really want to go by the motto of Khan, and this is where, this is, this is, this is actually whatever we do right now, we'll, we'll put to test, we're going to put to test the motto of Khan that they may be one. If we really want to, we, and we must, be, we, must be, we must be very, very careful to know how to put that motto into perspective. If we really want to follow that motto, then there is need for us, therefore, to really start off on the right foundation, in which case, therefore, we need to uh, revisit, as it were, not necessarily trying to uh, go back to do to the draw ball of fighting or uh, name calling of anything. But to say, okay, let's bring everybody together upon which we can now say, okay, this is the letter that has been written. And this is, this is the reason why it's written. And this is the reply. So that everything will now start on the full, uh, proper foundation. Otherwise, I want to assure you, I want to think that the, we, are, we, are, we are eight here right now. We are eight here right now on this meeting right now. And, uh, and I want to be sure, I don't know, <laughs> If we are going to say we want to build on the five blocks that can that is constitutional in Can Nigeria, I mean sorry, that's the theology in Can, we will we'll be sure that to get those to, to, to think that we will be having followership, followership based on this eight on this eight will be a struggle, except we put things in the right perspective, or except we put things in the right perspective and allow no emotion. But allow for uh, um, uh, structures, allow for legality, allow for constitutionality. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir. I can I say something, sir? And uh, just wait, Eugene. Just wait. Okay. Uh, let somebody in the house. Okay, sir. I say something first. The chairman is there on. Bishop Ogaba, sir. Bishop. Yeah. Please. I think what we came here to do is to see the way forward. And uh, that's why the heads of blocks and the secretaries. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Bishop Ogu. Sorry, Bishop Ogu. I'm very sorry. Please, respectfully, okay. sorry that I block it. Uh, okay. I don't know if the, is the chairman still there. Uh, yeah, I'm here. He's here, but I think yeah, his system is. Is uh, I see he's here, but I think maybe the audio is battling. I am here. I am here. He's here. He's oh, here. Okay, he's here. Okay, well, I, I will expect. I will. I will. You know, we are all leaders. I will expect that everything should go through the chair, so that yes, he will. He, he should be the one telling who should come in and who should not come in. Yeah, I will expect that we we'll go through. Okay. We we'll go through the chair. 
so that let him let him really uh, let him speak uh, give us audience i mean that we need to easy. really know no, right. that we're going through this chairman can i respond thank you sir. um thank you so much uh, dr kintala uh you know what's happened i think he have been in our meetings uh, how many few meetings we had we know how it ended confusion crisis and all the rest of them and the issue one of the issues that are causing this problem is because of this six blocks of a thing the, if we look at the meeting the last meeting we had in dr mcnay's house eric has stood up and said who am i to talk to him i have no right when we had a meeting uh, at uh, 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 Oko, uh, Baristoko place, I recorded it for one hour and uh, 45 minutes. Then that was said there. So I decided for us to move forward, it is better for me to write to Kansas Nigeria to correct everything so that this a conflict, this crisis, when we come to a meeting, we leave your whole church, we come, others will leave their churches, we come at the end of it, we won't achieve anything. We will go back. Men of God, I decided to keep quiet, not to call for a meeting all this while. For us to go back, pray, think about it. When I call a meeting, say we can arrive in something. The next one I see is the same uh, Erica calling for a meeting without the consent of the prayer chairman, without the consent of the secretary. And when he was asked, he said he don't recognize the chairman and the secretary. Yeah. If we are don't. pushed to a wall, what do you do? I can't keep quiet. I have to do something. I have to write Nigeria and say, look, come into, into this conflict and solve this problem for us. And that is what brought about this letter. That is one of the things that brought about this letter. And he without sentiment, without uh, 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 emotion or whatever. If you can remember the day, if you are there, the day this meeting was inaugurated. If you are there, if you watch the video, I was the first one that was uh, 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 was introduced as representing the Roman Catholic. Yeah, I saw you. Because the, 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 because the let me he call me say please represent me. And I've been representing him since all this while. I have approached, I have approached four Roman Catholic priests and the Roman Catholic sister here concerning this organization. And I'm still talking to them. You know, I don't want to bring in somebody who is not a, a priest into the fold as a representative Roman Catholic. No. If 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 it goes to this way, I will tomorrow I will bring somebody who is a Roman Catholic who is not a priest so that he can represent. When we are talking about this, I am standing. I am representing Roman Catholic until they come in. I went to uh, Roma, uh, the Roman Catholic Church here in Sunnyside. We have two priests, Roman Catholic Reverend Fathers. You know, when we go, they refuse to allow an open door for us. They refuse to open doors for us. So if you are talking about whether the five club is complete, I want to tell you the blocks are complete. So there is no any saying this block is not there or this block is not there. Whatever I'm doing, I am also communicating to them, telling them whatever we had in the meeting, the outcome and everything. Reverend, jo Reverend Father Joseph is uh, uh, very close to me here, Hamaskra. From here to Hamaskra, it's about maybe a 30 minutes drive. I communicate with him. I tell him everything we had, any, the outcome of the meetings, whatever we have. So talking about correcting something, we have made a mistake for bringing Mpasa into this flu. And that mistake was caused by Archbishop and Bishop Ogu. He's here. I am telling him. And I remember that the last meeting we had, he came and said he's very sorry for what he did. He wanted to right the wrong. And I remember when we attended the meeting in Ogunshola South, Ogunshola kneeled down to beg everybody that we may be one, let's move forward. 
And some people think that what he did, if we cannot respect that old man kneeling down for us, still we come for a meeting, the thing continued. I don't know what to do than to write. If you are in my shoe as a leader, maybe sir, you are in your church and some members of your church will just gang up against you and say your leadership, you are no longer the, our leader, our pastor and begin to gang up about against you. What will you do? You have to react. You have to stand up. You cannot keep quiet. So I did what I suppose, even before I did this thing, Barista Oko is here, he's here, Dr. McLeish, I told them that I am going to write Abuja. I told them, I'm going to write because this is getting out of hand. I told them, they said, don't write. I was thinking that maybe you don't write there. There is any, any means for us to come together as one in peace, in love, in unity, to move forward. But I see it is not coming. It, it can't come to a meeting at the end of it, it didn't achieve anything, you go back. So what do we do? We have to move forward. We can allow too few people to come to meeting and hijack our meeting. It must be in their own way. They know how to talk. They know how to do anything. Others don't know how to talk. I won't stand it. So I have to take action. I did what I did based on what happened. So is there any other thing you want me to verify, clarify you on? Mr. Chairman, can I make an... Okay. Apostle Kintola, I want you to verify the Christian Association of Nigeria, Canada. They do not have Equatican. They do not have Catholic. Is the three blocks and the, yet it is can make a verification. The Christian Association of Nigeria, United States, they do not have a quarter can, but yet they are can and they are operating in the same modus operandi of can. Now, that apart, when we started, you know that uh, Venerable Madhuji Bea represented the Catholics. Before the young, the, the young brother came in and took his position, he attended meeting three times but he told us the pro, you know the problem he's having with the Catholics until he went into hiding and he wasn't seen anymore. Did that stop Khan from flowing? We expanded, we grew. From that 13th of July that we were inaugurated in 2016, we grew, expanded by God's grace until the meeting we had in February 2018 to bring in the impasa. Yes, I accept my mistake. Like everyone will know, love is blind. <laughs> but then they say marriage is an eye opener. Out of love. We agreed whatever, even though behind the scene, we fight. I caution him. But outside, I don't oppose him. The only time that he was opposed and we nearly fought in his office, you were present. Some other people were present. Was after he cajoled me in the Nigerian praise. So we came to, and he called a meeting, did not include me. I know some of you who are, some of you present here, we are also present. How many times he tried to pressurize uh, 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 Reverend Michael Kega to assume the position of the head of Equatican, which by constitution of Khan, it is not the president or the executive that brings the head of a block. No, organizations, make the arrangement, bring the head, and send in delegation. But each time he will announce it at the Nigerian praise, 
and other occasions. I know how many times he introduced uh, Reverend Mike Akega as the head of law. And I know all the conspiracies that took place. But because he's a gentleman and disciplined, he refused. He said, all of us who will support you, who will back you up and everything. But I still stood behind him. So after the meeting of February 2018, we Mpasa was announced as a block that the headquarters accepted, which was a lie. And we all know between him and me and Rosalind McNair, we knew it was a lie, but we wanted to carry things on. We never knew that the pastor would come to become a stumbling block or to cause a lot of problems. With all the pressure, even when he accepted that, no, when we bring in the pastor, we can bring in PFN. It's as a result of not bringing in the PFN that, ex that is actually caused a big rift between both of us. So I, I'm only trying to tell you that that exercise of February 2018 is null and void and of no effect. So okay. we are going back to the originally established foundation of the five blocks of Khan. Thank you. Truth is very bitter. Eh? <laughs> Hello, sir. Yes, we all listen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, I think um, uh, there are some missing, there are some things there are just case clarification. Um, first of all, thank God you brought the issue of can um, um, in diasporas to, to, to the picture right now. And that uh, even there, they do not have the total formation of Khan, in which case uh, it was like um, uh, every, uh, most of these international bodies were allowed to operate based on the uh, circumstance that they have. Um, they are not really operating on the full strength of the constitution of um, Khan Nigeria, uh, Khan Nigeria. I mean, that is the country of Nigeria. Um, so it was an adapt, ad adaptive uh, uh, situation, which I believe whatever we do here, because I, 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 I still want us to keep things, one thing in mind, that we are not saying to, we are not, and we should not see ourselves as operate, as thinking that we will be operating Khan law. Um, the way it is, this is also an adaptive pr procedure. Just yes. like in this, in this case of um, when uh, Impasa was uh, brought into it, was also adaptive. And that, because there's a, there's a precedence and which you have clearly mentioned here. There's a precedence. Uh, of course, by the best of all, I know I've been in come from Nigeria, so it's, this is not the first way I'm becoming, I mean, can. Um, <laughs> You know, so, so that so let's understand that this is adaptive, and we must not thinking we are going to hold on. We're going to swallow the constitution who lie and singer. It's not even possible anywhere. Uh, there has to be that adaptive elements there. Number two is that I'm also now well. I am surprised to hear from you, except uh, I'm hearing for the first time right now that whatever meeting yourself, the late Archbishop and Ro Rosaline uh, had which uh, came back from um, heart in Nigeria, which was, of course, one of, I believe one of the issues that was, was tabled in Abuja was the inclusion of Mpasa to this um, uh, body uh, to be recognized anyway as a block. Uh, I'm surprised to hear that you are saying that whatever we are, we are, building, we are building upon, uh, so even up to uh, 2018 was a lie which means uh, there was no truth in whatever was brought from Khan. Uh, because if I, my, for my um, uh, intellectuality served me well, I believe what was told us was that 
there was uh, the meeting at at Abuja had a near success uh, syndrome of say okay uh, we've heard your your plea we have heard your your uh, your intentions and therefore uh, go we will come back to inaugurate to accept to uh, inaugurate scan and, and pass as it were. And that um, in principle, as it were, in principle, Mpasa has been accepted as part of the blocks, uh, and which was what uh, you guys brought back to us uh, as, a, as a feedback. So, but now if you are now saying that no, uh, what you brought forward was a lie, and that that means in that meeting, it was ruled out ruled out that Mbasa should not be part of the block because I believe there was a document that that uh, to that effect that says what I've just said now. Now, so that is again some of the things that I said we should we should clear because you know history is very important for us to put in place. I am not in any way trying to say okay we have to put a, a, to uh, do a marriage marriage of inconvenience. But we must at least have a right foundation upon which we are starting. Then, too, again, on record, too, I want us to know, too, uh, I've been part of this, the issue of this kind from inception, how it came to be. I'm privileged to be today. Can South Africa or Can South did not start at the lobby room of uh, at the, uh, um, at the, at the airport, or it did not start when about uh, we start for came. The discussion, the conversation of Can. In South Africa, did not start when Pastor Urijasho came to South Africa. It started right before then. There was there was there were a series of discussions, there were a series of conversations that brought about Khan. And I think it's important for that part of history to be to be enshrined in whatever we do in South Africa here. Otherwise, that will not be doing, will not be playing, will not be having a fair history if we don't have that kind of that part of narrative in our discussion that there was there was the what brought about can was in fact began from the idea of affiliating impasa to Khan's nigeria it was that desire to affiliate impasa to can nigeria that a discussion a discussion another conversion was made was that say okay no uh, that will not be done. That will not be the structure upon which foundation uh, is placed. Therefore, if you want us to really have anything to do in sense of attribution, go and restructure, uh, give a kind of structure to it that will look can. And upon which now several conversation now took place. So, so, so that should be clear that can did not start. Can this, the discussion of bringing can to stand to start South Africa did not start at the airport or did not start. At the time when Babo Rishacho came, there were conversations, there were discussions, engagements right before it started, which of course Bishop Odu uh, also alluded to when he mentioned some of the names there, Boston and the rest of them here yeah, that came through. So, so I want us to know, therefore, that this is an adaptive um, thing. So, and whatever constitution we are going to be riding upon, we of course we know that we cannot swallow every constitution, every not all the detail of the constitution. Of Nigeria that we are going to use here. We're still going to have an adaptive competition based on the concept of Nigeria, of course. Uh, I'm not a legal person, but I believe that uh, I'm just trying to uh, use my intellectuality to say, okay, uh, for that, uh, it, it, just like you are going to start a ministry, missionary, I mean, a ministry in, uh, outside of your country. The Apostolic Church South Africa here, uh, the way it's run here is different from the Apostolic Church in Nigeria. And so we have to we have to have what is called cross culturalization and cross cultural element into it here to make it established. And so that's just my understanding here. And and uh, and thank you very much. Information, please, Mr. Chairman. My, my bishop, can I interject, please? Can I interject? Yeah. Yes, I you interject. But information, I'm saying information, information. Mm -hmm. The information I want to bring to uh, Apostle Akitola, number one. You said it's your first time of hearing that I said is a lie. No, no, that's not the first time. Since, that. since PFS started coming, sir, you'll be saying it again and again. Not even before you people started coming. I mean, I've, I've been, been hearing you a letter. Why, 
one year with regards to Mpasa coming in, what is all about. So I've explained this and you've been in meetings where I have explained it, you know, very yeah. clearly. Number two, you are talking about adaptive, you know, situation. Yes, adaptive, but yet not outside the can constitution, the can five blocks. That's the way they are also operating there. Those blocks that are present, they are still operating, you know, not outside. No, no organization is forming. And also I want you to understand in Abuja, they told us four organizations try to, to you know to join as a block. They even went as far as taking a legal action for them to come in. And that was what was waiting. And that was based on that premise to say, if these people succeed, then we don't have a problem. We can bring in any decision. But if they do not succeed, and unfortunately, they did not. So this last letter they wrote now is, you know, it, it's like it has established, it established that can functions upon five blocks. And the structure is every arm they must have must function upon that five blocks, even if you're not complete. But if you want to become part of can activity, what is what is there to join another you know, a block? Must you be a block? You were not a block until, until, until February. You know, we said, okay, you people have been approved. And you people were not notified. In fact, it was a, a few minutes notification that, no, I'm going to speak on this, this and this and that. But because we don't want to disrespect and we don't want to, you know, sound as if we are not, you know, a united voice. So I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Thank you, uh, my, my bishop and uh, apostle. We've heard you guys. And looking at the letter, sir, I will suggest, okay, uh, we move forward from here, putting the house in order and building on the five blocks. While others who are not the block can join any block of their choice. Okay. When Ayuris Jaffa came into the country, he told the chairman of Ken, Sir, you are coming on the umbrella of PFN. We cannot be Pasa here. It's either Pasa go or the Pasa says, or can go while Pasa stays. So you guys made a very good choice by bringing Ken in so that the Pasa can go. That is why today we have other blocks. And that is how it should be. And that is what it is now by that letter that I've read. I know it's hard to carry all the office block and all the neck and the bolts that you guys have before, carry all of them around. But this has to be done properly. And that is why we are in support of what the chairman and secretary and do we? It's a tough one, but with your support, we'll be able to rally around more people to join uh, the, the, the CAN South Africa. That's my suggestion. Oh, uh, any other person want Hello? to say anything concerning this? Hello? Yeah, Eugene. Yes, can, can I say something, sir? Hello? Can I say something? Okay. Huh? I, I think we are, we are taking much time in this uh, particular agenda. We have other things to talk about. Okay, say something, then let's continue, please. Hello? Hello, say what you want to say. Okay, Mr. Uh, I, want to, I want to I want to say this just for the for record's sake. Yes. Um Hello, are we together? I'm, well, yes. okay. I'm saying this for record's sake. You know, based on 
some of the points that we are um, listed or mentioned by um, Dr. Akintola. Uh, we, personally speaking, I took note of all that you said, and uh, they are um, good things to look into, consider. But let me uh, say this for record's sake. Number one, you spoke about an adaptive constitution. We need to be very, very careful when using that word adaptive uh, constitution because there is a period between us trying to adapt and us losing our primary essence and derailing completely from the intentions or, and the visions of the founding fathers of this organization. Hence, if you look at the statement that was made um, if I'm to quote the response, he said in the second paragraph, very, very emphatic and precise, he said, um, it therefore means that any block formed outside the five blocks of Khan by any group who represents Khan does not in any way conform to the constitution of Khan and does not represent the organization or the sorry the association. So this is very very um, is is open. Anyone can understand the tone of the language, the 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 the, the motif behind the language, and what the language intends to achieve. And there are some things that you cannot just say you want to sideline because of the word adaptive constitution. Otherwise, now we will lose our peculiarity or our uniqueness that we are actually from Khan. I, I suggest to you that in view of us contemplating constitution, it has to be at least 70 or 80 or 90 percent similar to that, if not 100 percent, similar to that of our mother body. This is my take on this. And the other thing again that I want to bring in again, based on the second point you made, sir, is um, that you said that can have been something, I don't know, is it operational? I'm trying to look for the right word to use prior to the inauguration by Papa or of Now, um, that comment, to a certain extent, I am not uh, a party to it. And then I'm going to explain that. It sounds like, sorry to use that word, it sounds like a language that is tantamount to rebellion. It sounds to say like, we are saying that uh, all that Papa Orisejo for intends to achieve when he inaugurated Khan and all the discussion he had prior to his inauguration of Khan is not relevant. That what you we are going to stand on is what, what had been done prior to his coming. So now we are completely throwing away his intentions, his objectives, and we want to now subscribe to our own personal objectives prior to his coming. And I don't know what other language we can attribute to such an action. This is where I rest my case, sir. Are we still talking on this? Or should we round it up? And sorry, sorry, no, no, no. Oh, sorry, please. Just, uh, just one statement, maybe just two statements. Uh, just to, to uh, maybe to just correct the impression that um, uh, Apostle Eugene, uh, right there. Yeah. I did not say, please, maybe you didn't hear me very well. Uh, okay. And it's, uh, uh, maybe, I think this is a misunderstanding. I didn't say what we, be, what mm. about the shadow come to do is, we're not ambitioning it. Mm. That's not what I said. I said that can, uh, the, what, whatever led to the formation of can serve mm. did not begin at the airport or when Baba Richardson came. Mm. I said there has been a conversation. There are conversations mm. that led to the formation of cancer. Mm -hmm. So that, that I'm not sure that women should start religion or, 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 or no. I've not said that cancer, cancer was you know, uh, you know, created before Baba Richardson came. Neither am I saying that uh, whatever Baba Richardson came to inaugurate is is that I'm to non -report. What I'm only saying that there is, I'm putting, and I'm just trying to put on record, I'm putting on record that there is a convers there are conversations that batted the formation of cancer. There are conversations that batted the uh, formation of cancer. That's just, I think that's just a plan enough. 
to, to put it on record. So I'm not, there's no, nothing to, to, to insinuate uh, rebellion or, or mm, disregard mm, to whatever it did. Mm. No, 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 at all. Uh, uh, yes, uh, there's something I want to uh, explain to you. There was a meeting that was held. Um, I, 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 it would have been nine that you were in that meeting. The ninth before the inauguration of cancer and the morning that led to the inauguration of cancer. It was a heated meeting. And, uh, Papa was bitter. When I mean bitter, he was uh, like really raging. And his anger was that he sent, according to him, he sent some delegates to oversee the preparations that will lead to his inauguration and that they were not giving him the right feedback because um, after he's actually um, getting a place to stay in the hotel, myself, um, Bishop Frank and the Reverend Matt D, uh, we went to him and we explained to him that we are not, we have not been consulted officially as part of the blocks that we constitute cancer. So we explained the whole thing to him. And we even told him about the little factors we had there in the airport. Remember, so I'm, I'm sure you were in the airport, you saw what happened in the airport. So we told him about those things. And now he now called for an emergency meeting. That meeting held, was held the next day, early morning, around, is it five or four o'clock? Bishop, is it five or six o'clock? Five o'clock. Bishop Obu, you were in that meeting as well. Bishop Frank was in that meeting. Um, Archbishop was in that meeting. I think we were about eight or nine of us in that meeting. And after a heated argument, Papa had a resolution which all parties subscribed to. And let me remind you again what we agreed on that meeting. That meeting, Papa told um, Archbishop to come and take his membership as part of uh, PFN so that you will now be the chairman from a block because he says, he said that a time is coming when the entire body, the, the national executive will ask him from which block he's operating from, then what will be his response? And he agreed to come and take his membership, number one. Number two, he was requested to dissolve uh, uh, Mpasa or to ensure that every member in Mpasa take their rightful position in their respective blocks in Khan that his focal point now should be on Khan and not necessarily cheering Mpasa. So we, I'm just picking up the two major things that, is rele that are relevant to um, um, this discussion. Then at the end of the day, Papa before him told uh, Bishop Frank that he's given, he was giving Bishop Frank from that moment till 12 noon, that if Bishop Frank should call him on the phone and tell him that this meeting is not going to hold, that he has his return ticket, that he will move back home, that he will not want to have an issue with his friend Omobude. Then Omobude was the president of uh, PFN, that he was once uh, president of PFN on two tenure, that he wouldn't want to um, uh, fight with Omobude when he, went, when he goes back to Nigeria. Now, we had other discussion. So uh, we were expecting... Uh, Archbishop to come and take his membership. We were expecting Archbishop to recognize us as one of the blocks prior to that inauguration. He did not. It was a few minutes to 12 o'clock that same day. I called Bishop and I said to Bishop, so that tomorrow it will not be as if we are the hindrance to the establishment of uh, cancer. Please do, uh, for posterity's sake, call Papa and tell Papa to continue with the inauguration. And which he did. Bishop called Papa and told Papa that he should continue. And Papa refused. Papa said to Bishop, except you are part of that inauguration. That was the reason why you saw Bishop there. Bishop said, to, uh, Papa said to Bishop, you have to be part of that inauguration. We want you to be part of that inauguration. We want you to be there. And Bishop gave Papa his uh, uh, promise that he will be in that inauguration. This is the reason why, if you look at the tone of Papa's preaching, Papa was emphasizing. He was so keen on that five block. Please, let's refer to his, uh, his preaching that day. He was keen on that five block. People did not know why he was actually emphasizing on that issue. It was because of the meeting we had in the morning prior to that inauguration. So we were surprised that we are no longer keeping to the agreement that we had that led to the inauguration of cancer, Amen. which Papa, which um, Archbishop agreed to wholeheartedly. So I don't know why we are still dragging this even to this extent. First, you know, I'm just trying to ensure 
from my own point of view, that we have a constituted body equally represented and that we move cancer or cancer Africa to the next level, not necessarily having some sentiment or emotional attachment. For Christ's sake, this is the body of Christ we are talking about here. It's not our personal uh, company. That's what I'm trying to say here. I, I think the point you made, the equal body were represented in the five blocks. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think that is where we are now. And I'm happy I, that the chairman yeah, did what he should do to bring about this. Yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate what you say, all the narration, all the things you said. Uh, I don't have any issue with that. I don't have any problem with the discussions. And I'm not, I'm not against. So uh, now you can see, sir, that said. it was as what a I result paid. of Archbishop hold not on, keeping on. to the promises that we are here today. We are trying yeah, no. to correct an error that was made. And uh, sometimes on, on. rebuilding uh, can actually cause some, you know, uncomfortable um, uh, reaction, but it's allowed so that at the end of the day, we have a formidable structure that cannot be shaken. Next generation, we buy into it and, uh, and move forward. Sometimes uh, some things the, we do is not for our sake. Yeah, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, excuse me, uh, please, please. What I'm saying, actually, yes, what, what you have said right now and whatever transpired that this is for another, for another discussion. What I am only saying, you didn't get my point. I am, my point, my point is not talking about the legality of the constitution, the, the legality of our, the, the coming together of the blocks. What I'm only saying, what I've only explained upon which you interject, as you said the other time was the history. I'm just saying, for instance, how do you want to, I'm just talking about history and I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to put on record how what brought about can and i'm not that is different from how is can formed and what what was what are the things that were said who well whether bishop whether a bishop lead a bishop uh who should join can uh, pfn or not no that's not my point my point is that there was a conversation that led to the formation of can that's just as simple as that yeah Wait, you what said that now whatever now whatever now that what Cancer now? wanted to join CAN and yeah. eventually, and uh, Papa refused the word, Passa, but told that uh, and told uh, the Archbishop Boa that, that I'm here for CAN. CAN must no, no, uh, be that's, that's, that, yeah, that, you are right. that one. I know what, you guys no. have a priority for that. But what uh, so so can, I, can I come in? Sir, that can I come just, in? Sir, and that what, is just, uh, not the point. Dr. Kintola is trying to say is this. What Dr. Kintola is trying to say is not about what happened that he's talking about what led to the formation of uh, that. That's exactly Maybe the such, as, such as what happened before yeah. what happened that night. What yeah. the meetings they had, where they had before the, the can came into formation. That is what he's yeah. trying to say. It's not that exactly. they, he's talking simple. against the constitution. Uh, that's what yeah. he said. Simple, simple. <laughs> And please let me put on record again because I've shared this. Let me put on record. I am not here. I'm, I, I want you to. I am what from from the day of the formation of Can, from the day of the formation of Can, the 2016, from the day of formation of Can 2016, that I was inaugurated. I was inaugurated at the uh, the head of the, the, the leading the CPFN. So, yeah. the, because when you say you people, I'm, don't put me as part of the you people. I am, I am here. I think I'm here right now. In my right, I'm here in my right as a CPFN. Okay. I'm not therefore saying that to. I'm not also that for saying that to say. Uh, 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 um, I'm uh, trying to be here on there. My identity in can is CPFN. And I'm sure that is on record. I think and it's so, uh, when, 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 when now. any discussion that, any discussion that okay, okay, please, please, can say, we go, can we, can we, can we move, yeah. move forward? Please, let's right. move forward, please, let's move forward. I think we have gone a long way with this particular we're done with point. We're done and with. they have done, I think we have done justice to it. What you are trying to do now, see, honestly speaking, we want to carry everybody along. But based on this letter, everybody must form into a block. So I think we need to tell these people, <coughs> excuse me, who are not part of, who are, doesn't belong to any of these five blocks. Maybe from now to one month, now from now to uh, 
two months from now to two weeks or three weeks. Let them go and identify themselves with a black. Then we carry everybody out. We are. Mr. Chairman, are you there? Mr. Chairman, are you there? Okay. All this while I was talking, I didn't know that I was on mute. Please, at exactly 1 p.m., um, I will excuse myself because I was told it's a one-hour -on -one meeting and I have something to do, which you are aware. Mr. Chairman, are you still there? I think he's having a problem. You see, for me, I would suggest there are some people that, like the, it's written in the letter, there are some people who do not know in which block they fall in. Some of them became ministers here. Some of them became ministers in Nigeria that were never involved in the activities of Khan. That's why even when somebody asked me, look who stand I, and I, I will refer, go and ask, as at 1995, 96, I was a member of the panel that set a particular you know, uh, you know, problem in the church that could have killed many people. I was part of it as a young man. So please go and find out your block. Anyone can exit, but I'm talking and, and I'm saying my opinion. So I was never liked. So let, it, let everybody have that in mind. I was never liked, but yet I was always needed and was never liked. So I don't want to be liked by anyone. For me, uh, uh, that's the only thing I can say. And each block, go and hold meetings. If you don't hold meeting with your block, you don't have rapport with your block, and maybe you are claiming something. I've seen it happen many times. If I wasn't having rapport with my people, they could have convinced uh, 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 Reverend Mike Akega. They could have convinced the evil ones in our meeting, could have convinced him to say, I'm the head of block. When they don't know the way, you know, it is being done. So I have five minutes, I will leave. I don't know that's left think, uh, We are four now, and uh, our chairman and the secretary, they are not here. I think we need to be uh, closing the meeting so that next time they can give us direction what to do. OK. Better. I think we need to close. It's almost two hours. Uh, exactly. Let uh, Apostle Dr. Kintola close us in prayer. My bishop, uh, sorry to let me just interject a little bit. While you are um, uh, um, suggesting that we close the meeting, we need to have an understanding. What did we arrive at today? If it requires that we do a voting to reach, or, but we need to know that we are all in the same umbrella, that this our commencing or restructuring or whatever it is, or resetting, like Reverend Kitola said, whichever one, we need to know that we are all under the same umbrella. Hence, now, if we are calling for another meeting again, already we know an agenda that we are going to be discussing. We just want to see progress on the uh, United the, the, front. the truth of the matter is we want to obey the headquarter with the five block. Any other person that is not in this five block should join Of course, you're right, sir. you're right, sir. And most of the officials and the offices, I think some of those offices should be dissolved. So that this can be replaced. And some of those offices. I think the, 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 the secretary should be taking notes, and if there is any objection, somebody should speak, but the secretary should be taking note of what you are saying now, sir. The secretary just came in, and he was not in. And most of those offices should be dissolved. Why any offices should be constituted? Because the problem has been coming from one block in all the offices. That is not even a block of kind. Okay? Most of those offices should be dissolved. And uh, I know it's painful, but they are also members of CAN. So you can say they are not members of CAN, but the offices need to be visited. They need to be dissolved.
So if, if I may suggest, I what I think we should as well do again, adding to what you're saying, is that we give them, we give every other member grace that are not part of any of the blocks. We give them a grace of one week, two weeks to go and take their membership. And it should be on record that such an idea was brought on the table. Give them one or two weeks to go take their membership in any of these uh, five constituted blocks in Kansas or Council yeah. of Africa. Then from yeah. there, in our next meeting, then we can consolidate on what we have already established. Uh, Reverend Akiga, and we need to be closing. It's two hours time already. Two minutes time will be closing. One, one minute time we should be closing. Your line is having an issue. Sir. I say, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you now. I was in my phone was been and all. I had a suggestion, but um, I will also want us to wait a little bit. I don't know where we are discussing. Please, sir. About the you need to walk on your line. The I'm not hearing you very well. You need to walk on your line. I said, I said, you hear me? Your line is breaking and breaking as you are talking. So we are not hearing you very well. Can you hear me? Uh, I suggest we close for now. It's already 12 o'clock. Is it what time is it? One o'clock. My God. It's one. Let's close the meeting. And we can converse some other time when you guys ask us to come back. And I suggest again that this some other time will not be too far, if if possible, because we are trying to um, do some damage control. If possible, we can call for another meeting in no distant time again. It's my suggestion. Okay, my secretary, you heard that. Hello, sir, Reverend Akiga. Akiga is not here. We have left again. Please, uh, Reverend Doctor, pray for, pray for us, sir, so that we close this meeting. Reverend, listen, your 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 you guys line. It's like you guys, two of you. Yes, sir. Can you have, can you can know I the children be on their own while you talk? And this one will keep talking. Children will be there, disturbing on the background, and it's not fine. Can I say something before we yes, close? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, first, I want to say thank you, everyone, that uh, for attending the meeting. Uh, I think. Uh, we have gone a long way and we have done something reasonable and we will continue from where we stopped and very soon we will call to iron this in out and finish this thing so that uh, we will move forward so that we will move on maybe from now till even if maybe it may not be a week but before anything happens we have to send out uh, the time and when we are going to meet again because the, before the, I, I am praying that this week the new constitution from Abuja will come, so that when we are doing, we are dealing with the constitution also together. It will, will it be better for us to do it next Saturday? That will be good. Or is this too, too near or too? Far? No, 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 no. Next, next Saturday is okay. Next Saturday, the same time. We, we, we need to meet up for now. Okay. Okay. Next Saturday, the same time. It's okay. Thank you so much. Who is praying for us? Let the, uh, man of God, please pray for us. Can, uh, let's share the grace. Let's share the grace.
Uh, Reverend Dr. Godwin, please pray for us. Dr. Kitala, pray for us, sir. Father, we thank you for this hour. Thank you because we believe that you have your plan and you are not ever surprised and you know what you will do. This is your organization. This has been in existence right from Nigeria. And we know, God of heaven, that you will work things out that will be to the purpose and to the praise of your name. Therefore, we Hallelujah. hand over everything to you. We ask that you will tear up, I mean, you keep on leading this organization here in South Hallelujah. Africa. Yes, Lord. And you will also allow us to have the formidable can't serve and organization that we bring glory to your name, depopulate yes. the kingdom of darkness and bring about Amen. unity of Christians. Amen. in South Africa. I pray for wisdom for, your, for the chairman, yeah. for wisdom. For, yes. And I also pray for everyone of us that we will never do anything that will not be in line with your will. Thank you, Father. Let your presence be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you very much. That ends the meeting for today. I stopped Amen. the recording. Thank you so much, sir.